As the world prepared to usher in a new year and a new decade on December 31st, 2019, authorities in China alerted the World Health Organization, or WHO, on the unusually high cases of pneumonia in the city of Wuhan. By January 7th, 2020, it was confirmed that a new coronavirus, now named 2019 NCOV, had spread from animals to humans. WHO has since shared the following video to answer questions on the origin, symptoms, and treatment of the virus. So coronaviruses are a family of viruses um, that range from the common cold to MERS coronavirus, which is Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus, and SARS, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus. Coronaviruses are circulating in animals, and some of these coronaviruses have the capability of transmitting between animals and humans. We call that a spillover event. Coronaviruses typically cause respiratory symptoms, so uh, we recommend uh, basic hand hygiene, such as washing your hands with soap and water, and respiratory hygiene, uh, such as when you sneeze, sneezing into your elbow. Ways to protect yourself against a potential animal source uh, would be to avoid unnecessary, unprotected contact with live animals, um, and to make sure that you wash your hands thoroughly after contact with an animal, and also to make sure that your meat is cooked thoroughly before consuming. There are no specific treatments for coronaviruses, but symptoms can be treated. Now, as of this morning, Tuesday, January 28th, 2020, 106 people have died from 4,515 cases reported in China, according to state media. Cases have also been confirmed in Australia, France, Japan, Malaysia, Nepal, Singapore, South Korea, Taiwan, Thailand, the United States, and Vietnam. WHO is working with authorities in China to fill the information gaps and contain the outbreak. Now, while there have been confirmed cases in Asia, Europe, and the United States, WHO is yet to declare it a global health emergency. We don't know the source of this virus. We don't understand how easily it spreads. And we don't fully understand its cl clinical features or severity. WHO is working with our partners night and day in China and the other affected countries at the regional level and here at the headquarters to fill the gaps in our knowledge as quickly as possible. Now, several African countries, including Nigeria, Ethiopia, Botswana, and Uganda, have stepped up alertness and precautionary measures, including screening of travelers at points of entry, like airports. It's a viral infection, and it may spread anywhere. No, because if we can beat Ebola, we can beat anything, no matter how deadly the virus is. See, we have the Nigerian spirit, and we can beat um, the virus. Uh, currently now, the report says it's in some part of China, so it's not actually all over Asia currently. But as we know, because of the global travel and the mobility of people across, you know, boundaries, so the likeliness of it actually spreading is quite high. Currently now, it has been reported in other parts of Asia, but um, I came from Malaysia. Currently, it's not in Malaysia. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We here are rooting for authorities in China to succeed in containing this virus. We are tasking African governments to do all it takes to prevent it from spreading to the continent and asking you and I to remain vigilant and practice the basic cautionary measures like washing our hands with the soap and water, covering the mouth while coughing, avoiding unnecessary unprotected contact with animals and making sure any meat consumed is cooked thoroughly. You can get more details on this virus and any other science and technology stories on www.africanews.com.